Hello guys, I'm very happy to see you again at our Easy Come English Call lesson. So, today we are going to talk about vocabulary or exactly about how to increase our English or any kind of vocabulary. So, one of the challenges in learning a foreign language is remembering all of the new vocabulary. And in this video, we are going to go over a few tips for learning new words and for remembering them. So, the first thing that you have to do is expose yourself to the language. For example, I'm not a native speaker, you know this. My native language is Ukrainian. Я розмовляю українською мовою. And sometimes I speak Russian. Іногда я розмовляю на русском. But I have studied English language. And I'm still doing it now. I'm trying to do my best to learn a lot of new words every single day. And I know how it is difficult sometimes to remember all the stuff, a lot of new words. Because that's not easy. Because it is not our native language. Because, 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 and so on and so on. So, what am I doing to remember all these words? The first thing that you have to do and that I am doing is reading. We need to read a lot of books. You know, even not books, but newspapers, magazines, anything you like. Reading, reading, reading. A lot of reading. You should do it every single day. So, for example, if you read a text or a newspaper or a magazine, it doesn't matter. But it must be an English text. It must be the text of that language that you are learning now. English, Spanish, German, Russian, Ukrainian, anything you like. Read. So, when you are reading a text, you and you see any word for the first time. What should you do? You look it up, learn the meaning, and then go back to the sentence again and solidify it. One good idea is to think of another word that you already know and that could replace it in that particular sentence. A word uh, mustn't change the meaning of the sentence. They say the sentence was that particular word. You should remember that you must always learn the pronunciation when you learn a new word. When you look up a word in a dictionary, the pronunciation is always right there. Many online dictionaries also play an audio file so you can hear a native speaker say a word. Practice it loud several times. Practice. It is very important. Another important thing is when you want to read a book, a newspaper or a magazine, it must respond to your level. For example, um, if you are reading a book and uh, the context of this book is too easy for you, so what new things will you learn? I think that nothing. Because it is too easy, you know every single word of this particular sentence, you will learn nothing. Or if you, for example, are reading a book that is too difficult for you, a kind of a scientific book or a novel, but it is difficult. It doesn't correspond to your level. It doesn't correspond to your knowledge. So, you will have to look up for every word in a dictionary. And believe me, it's exhausting. It's boring. Uh, and with time, you will give up reading all this stuff. You will not be interested anymore in this book and in learning new words. So, the book must correspond to your level. For example, in a sentence, you should have, for example, one word that you do not know. Then you look it up in a dictionary, find the meaning, write it down uh, in a notebook or in a copybook, write the meaning and write the sentence. 
You should write all these three. The word, the meaning and the sentence. And then you will learn the word exactly. For example, what about me? Uh, several days ago, I have stopped reading one book. Uh, it is a very interesting book. Uh, it is called Jane Eyre. I was reading it while, when I was studying at the university and I loved it so much at that time. But <laughs> at this time, nowadays, uh, I have read only 150 pages of it and then I stopped because uh, this story wasn't interesting for me anymore. And maybe because I uh, I know this story and maybe because uh, this stuff doesn't correspond to me anymore, but I left it. But this book is really very interesting. I started reading online books and I like it so much. So, reading is very important when learning English vocabulary. But you should remember that you ought to read and to memorize a word in a context. It mustn't be like this. Oh, you know, I woke up today in the early in the morning and I need to learn some new words. What should I learn? Um, I guess, let me see in a Google any word. Oh, exhausted. Okay, I want to learn today. Exhausted, 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 exhausted. That won't do. You should do it this way. Woke up in the morning, read a book, found an unknown word, write down the definition, write down the sentence the meaning, study it, use it in a context, use it every day with a sentence, not like exhausted, but for example, reading boring books is exhausted, going outside when it is cold is exhausting, and so on and go on. I think you got it, right guys? Okay. As you discover new words in your reading, write them down again, along with the meaning and the context. You can either use a notebook or a flashcard if you prefer that. Make a system that works just for you. Because all people are different. All people learn differently. If one system works for Ben, that doesn't mean that the same system will work for Josie, for example. They are learning differently. Remember this. And most words you won't remember from just looking up once. When you look the word up, look for related words or other forms of a word. For example, let's say you are learning a word glamorous, which is an adjective. You may find in the dictionary that glamour is a noun and glamorize is a verb. Write this down too. So, in this way, you could learn one word, but now we know three words. Glamour, glamorize, and glamorous. And that's great. It is also a good idea to look for one antonym or one synonym. An antonym is a word with an opposite meaning. For example, black, white, good, but these were simple examples. And synonym is a word with the same or similar meaning. So, let's say you are learning a word blurry. A synonym would be fuzzy, an antonym would be clear. And if any of these words are unknown to you, write them down too. You can find synonyms and antonyms by looking in thesaurus like thesaurus.com Another great way to learn vocabulary is to watch TV, movies and online videos. But you can't just sit back, relax and be entertained. You can do that sometimes. You are going to learn more if you actively participate in learning. When you learn a new phrase, write it down. Okay, so what would you do with all these words and phrases you are writing down by learning them in context of reading or video you are already helping yourself memorize them. But you are still going to have to put in some work. So that means 
If you really want to study language, if you really want to learn new words as fast as possible, you have to work. The words by themselves will not come into your mind. If you want to learn, you have to do your best efforts. You have to work hard and you must know that. There are no any secrets. There is no any magic. Just learning and working hard and only then you will learn and you will achieve your goal. So, what about TV? Uh, from my life experience, you know. One day we were having a dinner and my little daughter, she is two years old. She was eating by herself uh, with the help of a spoon and something dropped on her and she said, Oops! Uh, and for me, it was like, what? What did it say? Uh, because uh, I'm not speaking English at home. Because my native language is Ukrainian. I speak Ukrainian at home. And English, I speak only in my videos, in some WhatsApp groups, uh, on Facebook, in Instagram. I'm speaking English. Yeah. But at home, I do not use English. <laughs> so. I was wondering, where did she get that oops? And then one day, um, one day I was cleaning my house as every woman does, as every mother does. So when I was cleaning my house, my daughter was watching English speaking cartoon. Sometimes I put on her English speaking cartoons for watching and she enjoys it. You know, she's sitting before a TV and watching how cats talks and children are speaking English language. They are talking and she is smiling with her jokes so she is understanding the context of all this cartoon. And when I was and again when I was cleaning my house and she was watching cartoon, uh, I have noticed a moment moment when a cat was carrying something, it was running and then uh, I don't remember exactly but something dropped from his hand and the cat said oops and the situation repeated again several times and again the cat said oops and then I got it where did my daughter get that oops so that means only one more time that watching English speaking videos cartoons uh, anything you like watching is very important because it is unconscious things sometimes you do not understand sometimes you cannot realize but you already remember some words just because you have seen the context you have visualization of all this stuff and it is already in your mind and you already know this word but you cannot know the translation the exact translation but you know the context where to use this word and how to use it and that is very important and now my daughter knows uh, some words that even I do not know but she learned them from the context but she learned them from this social media from these cartoons so my advice for you guys if you want to know if you want to learn a lot of uh, new words from another language watch videos a lot you should watch every day listen and watch that is very very important and when you're watching TV or listening to the music, listening music is really important. There are a lot of songs, uh, English speaking songs that are very popular nowadays and that uh, can teach a lot of new words. So listen, watch. Nowadays uh, we have a lot of possibilities. Try to use them as much as possible. So when you are watching, listening and reading, Try to memorize it really solidly. Try to memorize at least three, five words a day. If you have a great memory, then maybe you can learn ten. But limit yourself to that. So, tips for memorization. How to memorize words. Tip number one is uh, when you see a new word, you wrote it down, you know the meaning, you are reading, uh, you have written a sentence, you know the context. 
and <laughs> during the whole day when you're going here and there doing a lot of stuff uh, try to repeat this word but you cannot easily repeat it you can uh, try to use some gestures like uh, like you can use some gestures you can use some rhythm when learning a new word you can uh, put in music and repeat it the whole day like singing for example when i was studying at the university we had a great uh, lesson or a class it was called uh, it's, it was a phonetical class in my language it is called fonka and we loved it so much because it was great fun for us we were listening uh, to audio dialogues texts words songs and that is so useful we were listening then writing down then repeating then again listening repeating listening repeating that's important these these are the things that we are we are doing at our phone car. and i still remember this uh time and i think it was the most interesting and funny time in studying and you know there was a kind of a dialogue uh, it was simple. It is. It is still simple, but it is interesting. It helps to learn the rhythm, the pronunciation, and the melody of a language. Because English language is very beautiful. It is melodical. And for example, I want to tell you this dialect, but promise me not to make love because of it. Okay? Okay. Do you know Mary? Mary who? Mary McDonald, of course, I do. I know your mother and your father and your sister too. That was the dialogue. You promised not to laugh. You know, you are learning. Um, you are learning a kind of a rhythm. Do you know Mary? Mary who? Mary McDonald, of course, I do. I know your mother and your father and your sister too. It's a kind of a rhythm. You are learning. Uh, the pronunciation, the rhythm, and the melody of the language. That's important. So if you have a new word, try to make gestures, use your gestures, uh, kind of a rhythm, uh, music, you can dance, you can sing, you can do anything you want, but learn. Don't stop. Okay. So, tip number two for memorization is, again, repetition. Repeat many times repeat all the time again i will say that nowadays social media helps a lot you can use facebook you can use instagram you can uh use whatsapp there are a lot of groups surround yourself with english language join english speaking groups that's important you can talk if you have learned several words today where can you use them in chatting chat with english speakers chat with native speakers chat with your friends who also want to study english language uh, for example in facebook you can uh, surround yourself with english speaking posts there are a lot of groups um, a lot of pages that uh, post a lot of English, uh, some inspirational words, uh, motivation words, some philosophic, uh, some funny jokes, a lot of videos. There are a lot of videos on Facebook and in YouTube too that are in English language. You can study a lot. And study could be fun if you will find funny English videos on the social media. So, repeat, study, repeat, repeat, repeat one more time. And tip number three, not two, three, memorization is visualization. That is very important. For example, if you are learning any word, you must see the context, you must uh, understand the meaning, and you must make a kind of a picture for yourself. What do I mean? For example, uh, one day my friend uh, wrote me, have a bodacious day, bodacious. And then he wrote, do you know what the word bodacious mean? And then I thought, oh my God, 
I did not know this. I have opened quickly my dictionary. Look up the word pedacious, the meaning, the sentence, and I got it. You know what? Uh, I used visualization. I imagined what a pedacious girl I was when I was a child. And people who know me since childhood know this pretty well, that we were pedacious children many years ago. And don't say anyone how bodacious I was, okay, guys? So, bodacious. Bodacious means crazy, incredible. Oh, bodacious, 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 bodacious. So, then uh, when, I find, when I found out the meaning of the word bodacious, uh, I imagined the situation, the whole life, my, the whole my life, the whole my bodacious life when I was a child. And, you know, I'm still remembering this word pretty well. And then I wrote to my friend and I said to him, Oh my God, thank you so much for remembering me about my bodacious childhood. And I wish you to have a bodacious day. And I'm still using this word, bodacious. I'm wishing people to have a bodacious day. And today I was uh, wishing my friend to have a bodacious day again. And I'm still remembering now, bodacious, bodacious, bodacious. I'm speaking now. But that's just, again, oh my god, I'm really crazy. So, what I want to tell you is, uh, when you are learning a word, try to make a situation, try to imagine a situation where this word, where this particular word can be used. Try to be active. Uh, passive studying is not interesting and when you are active, when you are moving, when you are dancing, when you are singing, when you are imagining all this stuff, different situations, studying becomes interesting and then you study faster. You can study a lot of words and much faster. So, absorb as much of the language as you can through so reading, watching videos, or even writing down words from conversation around you. Organize the words in a system that works just for you. Maybe a notebook, maybe flashcards, and get creative memorization. The more often you come back and study your vocabulary words, the more you will be able to remember them and use them uh, and try to use them in your everyday life, in speaking and in writing. And uh, if you have some other methods of learning vocabulary, let me know it in the comments below. So guys, I was very happy to see you again. I was very happy to share some of my private information with you. So don't forget to be up to subscribe to my channel if you want to have more videos and also, see you later. Bye. Have a precious day.